Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be walking through syncing SharePoint document libraries to your computer. You can sync SharePoint document libraries whether they are on your my site or regular document libraries to your computer by using the SkyDrive Pro Sync client. This client is available with Microsoft Office 2013 Professional Plus or Pro Plus or the standard editions. Once you have that client up and running, you can then just simply bind it to the document libraries that you want to uh, sync with and the content will be synced directly to your computer. You can then open up these files directly from your computer, work on them, save them, and if you're online, it will sync back into SharePoint. If you're syncing against the My Site document library, then you can sync up to 20,000 items. If it's just a regular document library, then it's 5,000 items. And you can also, in any library, download files up to two gigabytes. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna launch the SkyDrive Pro client. Again, it's part of Microsoft Office 2013. And it's gonna ask us for which library we wanna sync. So I'm gonna browse over to my HR site or I information technology site, go to my documents, grab the URL from there, paste it in here, and go ahead and say start syncing. And it shouldn't take too long, and it, then it tells us where to go to find the sync document. So let's browse to that location. It's C, Users, Administrator, SharePoint. Here's the information technology documents. It doesn't have anything, so we're going to go ahead and upload a document. I do have a document in here that's called Sync Me that simply has two lines, line one, line two. So we're going to sync this document. So we're going to go ahead and first add it to the document library. Now it's on the document library. This will take a few seconds and then we'll be able to see it on the uh, synced folder. So now if we go to the synced folder, browse to it again, users, administrator, SharePoint, documents, and again, let's just give it a few seconds and it will show up in here. Here it is, sync me. So now I can open this up directly from here and I can make changes. So I'll say this is, we're gonna add line three and line four to this document and save it and exit. And again, this will take a few seconds for it to sync back into SharePoint. So now if we go back to SharePoint, open up this document, notice there's line one, two, three, four. This is as easy as it gets to get the SkyDrive Pro client installed and sync your SharePoint document libraries with your computer. If you want to sync another library, you're going to notice the SkyDrive Pro is under your taskbar. You can right click on it here. We can sync a new library, open the folder, sync now. If it's if you thought if you think you want to get to the content right now, if there's any updates you want to read right now. Uh, pause the syncing, stop the syncing, but this is where you come to sync a new library, which is often what you want to do. This concludes this video. Thanks for tuning in.